Hi, in this color video, I'm going to show you how we can use the um, reset arrangement tools and what you might use them for. So to get started, we have a tool here in our 3D um, toolbar called reset arrangement points. And you'll see right here we have reset 2D arrangement and it says in parentheses all. So this would reset our 2D arrangement for um, everything that we have in our window. So when I say reset 2D arrangement, it would reset the arrangement of everything in our 3D window to match our 2D window. So right now we have our dress all simulated. So if I were to click this button, it would completely reset how I have it based on how it's laid out in my 2D window. So if I click that, you'll see now everything is laid out exactly in the same order as my 2D window. If I move this dress down, and I click it again, it resets it based on exactly how it is in my 2D window at the time. So I'm gonna click Command Z to go back. So that tool can be helpful if you are um, drawing a pattern in your 2D window and you just draw part of your pattern like way up here, you're kind of using this whole area as your workspace. When you draw something in your 2D window, it applies in that same spot compared to our avatar silhouette. So if I zoom out, that new square is way up there, same spot as it is compared to my avatar is the avatar silhouette. But if I'm drawing that pattern and I draw way up here and then I want it to get closer, um, like I might want to bring it closer and then I could reset my 2D arrangement and now I would have it close. If this whole pattern didn't matter to you, that it would be reset also. Or if you were doing that with everything, like you were rearranging and you, you wanted that all to be reset. But I'm gonna click Command Z and go back. But we also have the option that when our square is way up here, if we want to bring just one pattern piece close, I can always right click on it, just that one piece, and I can choose But I also have the option that if I want to reset just one piece, so maybe that square is way up here, and I bring it close in my 2D window, then I can right click on it in my 3D window and I can choose reset 2D arrangement for selected. So that would do the same thing, but it's going to only reset for the selected pieces, not everything like this button did in our 3D toolbar. I might also want to use the selected option if I have simulation mode on, and this pattern piece falls to the ground and I really want it to be simulated flat again, I can always right click on it, reset 2D arrangement for selected, and now it's back up how it was before. So we also have the option to reset our pattern pieces based on their 3D arrangement. And that's this pattern um, or this icon right below the reset 2D arrangement in our 3D window. It's called reset 3D arrangement all. Um, and then below that, we also have auto 3D arrangement. So with this reset 3D arrangement, all it looks like that person with kind of like circular fabric around them. If I were to click that, then this would reset my pattern based on what arrangement points I originally placed it on. So you can see these sleeves are kind of floating on that arm spot. The front and back dress is placed at the arrangement point that I had selected. So then if I turn on simulation mode, it all gets simulated back together. A time when you might want to use this um, reset 3D arrangement tool would be potentially if you were simulating a garment and it got really tangled or you're having problems with simulation or you just really um, adjusted the pattern a lot. For example, if I was going to change this pattern a lot, so I'm just going to go in here and just make a bunch of edits really quick. Um, just going to change it really fast. Uh, I'm not really worrying about like the result of it, what it actually is looking like or if the pattern's good, but just making these changes really fast. So 
So for example, you can see now, if I were to turn on simulation mode, my pattern's like pretty messy and I might have some problems simulating. So I could go here and click reset 3D arrangement. That would reset it based on the arrangement points that I previously had. Um, I might still need to go in and make some adjustments so that helps it simulate more correctly, but this would help me be able to simulate my garment more cleanly. Another option we have with the reset 3D arrangement tool is if I was having just a problem with one of my pattern pieces and I didn't want to reset the whole arrangement, I could always right click on that one pattern piece and say reset 3D arrangement for the selected and that would reset just that one pattern piece. So that would help me if I didn't want to completely redo everything in the file. We also have this option down below um, that's a re or sorry auto 3D arrangement and that is if I had all my pattern pieces um, and I hadn't arranged them yet, I could click, I can click auto 3D arrangement and it's going to automatically guess where I want them to be arranged. So you can see sometimes it's not always completely accurate. It didn't pick up my back collar as my back collar right here. So you might still need to go in and manually arrange your pattern pieces. Um, which you can do using arrangement points, which I show you a lot in other videos. Um, but that tool, this auto arrangement does exist, so it um, can be helpful to play around with, but it's not always completely accurate. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, the reset 2D arrangement tool and reset 3D arrangement tools can be really helpful, whether you're resetting the whole um, pattern or just the individually selected pattern pieces. Thanks.